I remember who you are. That way. <clears throat> hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode, yet again, of Midnight Snacks with Dan. And Zach. You're supposed to introduce me, but that's alright. Alright, well, <clears throat> today we're going to talk about time travel. <laughs> we're going to talk about where we would go if we had time travel. I think we need to specify why we've chosen this. Of course. We've been taking a lot of requests as our popularity has been growing. We've been getting a lot of emails, a lot of comments, a lot of subscribers and followers have been and asking us. We got us. one specific email from Billy Joel, Little Billy Joel, Little not the Billy. singer, just a weird coincidence, in Iowa, who has asked where, Silly Billy. where our first stop would be if we discovered a time machine, where we would go in the historical timeline. Take it away, Dan. All right, well, if I woke up tomorrow woke and up. I walked outside and there's a time machine parked where my car is currently parked, I would get inside the machine. Would it be on top of your car? <laughs> your car is just crushed? No, it, the car wouldn't be there. It would be in a different spot. Time <laughs> so I'd get inside the time machine, you know, and I would turn the knob, if there's a knob, to the year... 4,014. 4,014. I would go 2,000 years into the future. And what would you hope to discover there? Well, I would hope to finally see flying cars. Jetson style? Yeah. yeah. Jetson! Maybe some robots. You know, maybe get myself a robo-girlfriend. Robo-girlfriend. You're a robo-sapien. I, you know, I, I can be a robo-sapien. You're a robo-sexual. Yeah. I said Robo. Um, I just, you know, I think it'd be interesting to see where our civilization <laughs> you can go has, back in time and learn how to speak. has gone in uh, 2,000 years. 2,000 years? Well, but why 2,000? Why not 1,000? Why not 3,000? Well, because in 3,000, there's probably be nothing there because the Earth or everything will just have ended. Um, and in 1,000, nothing will have happened. <laughs> Nothing will happen in a thousand years. Well, you'll probably get older. I'll be a little older. You know. I'll be part cyborg. Maybe a couple of Twinkies will have gone bad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you know? <laughs> hey, you got him. You got him. But uh, I think 2,000, that's, like, that's like the good. That's, that's like the, the sweet spot, I think. You know? it's, like the, it's like the three bears, you know? It's three bears. Just the it's like one's too hot, one's too cold, one's just right. That's the, that's the 2,000 year mark. <laughs> Okay, so you've gone 2,000 years into the future, and you've discovered very little. You know nothing. Well, what do you mean I don't know anything? I'll, yeah. know, I'll know what everyone knows 2,000 years from now. No, you'll look like an idiot. You'll be like playing with your donkey yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> it smacks you in the face. And they That's got true. fucking lightsabers. They'll have yo-yos. <laughs> no, no, they're going to have yo-yos that don't have strings. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, it's just like a floating thing. It's going to back to them. They're not even going to use their hands. They're just going to be sitting here, and the yo-yo's going to be <laughs> spinning around his head. No, but how'd you do that? Yeah. And you got your freaking Duncan string yo-yo. Well, then, you know, my first stop in the year 4,000. <laughs> it's in a yo-yo shop. We'll be at a library where I can read that bunch of it. Okay. All right. Well, as usual, we uh, we discuss the subjects. We don't discuss the details, so we can have some realistic conversations with each other. On uh, you know, while we're filming these, I always have this innate sense to know that you're going to have a terrible idea, and I'm here to trump your ideas, throw out some interesting concepts that are foolproof, structured. They're mm -hmm. going to be awesome. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't think so. So you're gallivanting in the year four thousand. I immediately run to Galston Supermarket, pick up a <laughs> 600 pack of ballpark hot dogs. Um, That's a lot of hot dogs. Yeah, well, once you hear where I'm going, you're going to know exactly how many hot, hot dogs I need. Mm -hmm. I got some buns, I got some sun-kissed orange soda, uh, some Fritos Lays, and I grab my four best friends, you, my girlfriend, Kate Upton, who <laughs> at the time 
uh, for me, me finding the time machine will become my sure. one of oh, my okay, right, right. close associates. I mean, you're and, still working on the relationship right now, though, right? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm it's more shooting a couple, couple Instagrams uh, every, every couple of weeks. Okay. You know, change change my IP address so yeah she can receive them. <laughs> uh, and I probably grab this Dino buddy, come along with us for the ride. And I go to the year zero. 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 The Big Bang. That's not the year zero. It is. It's the start of creation. But Year zero. But it's not the year zero because there's no one around to call it the year zero. So the year zero, the year zero happened 2014 years ago. And what I do is I take my hot dogs and I put them on the grill and on my time machine. It's got a built-in... So your time machine has a grill now. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you better believe it, buddy. So I start grilling up the weenies. Uh, Kate often grabs my, my buns, <laughs> you know, puts my hot dogs in them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we started chomping Wouldn't up the you want her to put your hot dogs in her buns? Wow, well, that's, yeah, that's inappropriate, a little bold, if I may say so. I mean, you know. And we sat back and we watched like this, the most beautiful fireworks display in the history of existence. In history. Fireworks. Yeah, when the Big Bang starts blowing, right, I'm sitting there with my 3D specs on, and I'm... <laughs> Fire, I'm taking it all. It's a similar to. Don't do, you, touch me. do you know what a firework is? It's an explosion, a metallic explosion in the sky. So, oh, what's that? Oh my! So, so, so is that the sound of the world exploding into so existence? My Metals? decision to go two thousand years into the future, to an actual time period, to an actual area that exists, is stupid. But your idea to go back to the year zero, to <laughs> Like, to look, how are you even going to look at the Big Bang? Like, you can't look at the Big Bang. <laughs> With my binoculars. Like, where are you going to be? I'm going to be here. Big Bang's going to be blowing over there. But, but you can't be outside of the Big Bang. Everything is in the Bang. Everything's within the Bang? Everything's within the Bang. I can't be without the Bang. You cannot be outside of the Bang. You have to be in the Bang. You come from the Bang. <laughs> I don't think you meant that the way. You... In more than in more than uh, in, in more than one so way, you come from the bang. In this, ideally, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna be outside of the bang, you you have to get something more than a time machine. You have to get some kind of like quasi some like dimensional, dimensional traveling device or something. Device. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I don't even know because I mean you just can't. And like, let's just say for a second that you did happen to acquire such a device where you can be outside of the bang and view the bang as it happens. You don't think that maybe when the bang occurs, you will instantaneously die? Hmm. <laughs> Considering that this bang... Well, if I'm within the bang... ...is what gave birth to the entire universe, don't you think there's going to be a lot of em energy emanating from the bang? Yeah, well, I want like it to be outside life, of the bang. Ending energy. I want to dive in the bang after it cooled off a little bit. But you're telling me I can't do that. You can't. So I'm bangless. You're pretty much... not dying. You're dead. I'm dead. And I'm in the year 4000, having sex with my robot girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. Well, at least I'm alive. That's true. Anyway. That's where we'd go. You guys want to tell us where you'd go? That's cool. Write in the comments. That's cool. We'll write back. Nah, I Maybe. mean, we will. If I'm still here. He's going to be dead. I'm going to be dead? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, while they're writing the comments, I'm going to be dead? You're going to be dead, and it's I'll like be a, replying from the year 4000. It's like a day from now. With my they're robot writing girlfriend. comments, I'm going to be dead a day from now. Yeah. <laughs> i got to get out of here. <laughs> i got to go do things. See you guys next time. <laughs> Let's spin the... No, Watermelon. <laughs> oh my god. What? This is the battery. <laughs> this is the battery is about to die. <laughs>